Life of the Party and Dear Coward on the Moon, two movie titles that got our attention for good reasons. Both stories have a Wisconsin feel, so we want to welcome local filmmakers Robert Phillips and Carol Brandt to talk about them. Let's start about the life of the party. Robert, you're the life of the party. <laughs> this is set in West Allis? West Allis, yes. Um, West Allis, Bowling Alley. Um, pretty much what happens is that uh, it's a wedding reception with family members, co-workers. Sounds like friends. trouble right there. It's, it's already trouble. <laughs> yeah, it's already trouble. Um, it's, it has drama in it, it has uh, comedy in it. Uh, a lot of people love it. The reaction has been great. Right. And it um, airs tonight? It airs tonight, 7.30 at Fox Bay. Okay. Um, the, it is rushed right now, so that means that um, there's no advanced ticket selling, but you must get there early okay. to, get, uh, to get a ticket to watch it. So if you aren't there 15 minutes before the movie starts, you lose your seat okay. and someone else can take your ticket. Yes. Awesome. Okay, Carol, let's talk about your film. This is your first uh, feature? My first, yeah, official feature. Official feature. <laughs> and tell us a little bit about the, the plot of this. Sure. So it follows the story of these two sisters in this rural town. We shot in the Driftless area of Wisconsin, and it follows their... Um, the discovery of a family secret that the younger sister had no idea about. And so it's kind of a family drama that takes place over these rolling hills of Wisconsin, but also has fantastical elements as well. The younger girl daydreams of the moon. Why did you both decide to do movies here in Wisconsin, and especially in Milwaukee, to be this your base? Well, um, for me, um, I've always wanted to make films since high school. Um, I never got to do it until I actually went to college and started uh, networking, meeting people, um, which happened to be Ruben Whitmore. is one of my mentors that, um, that t showed me that you don't have to leave Milwaukee in order to make Hollywood films. You can do that here with the talent that you have and the resources. Carol, did you find that or what was your journey? I definitely did. I mean, I also got the bug in high school, but really coming to college and meeting all the people that are going to be your future collaborators, I mean, I expect to work with all my fellow UWM students till I'm done making movies. So. so when you look at what you do, the support you need, the job you need to get accomplished, can you get it done here? How much support are you getting from the community and the film festival? I have to say Milwaukee has been really, really supportive with this film from the get-go. I mean, we had uh, a lot of our funders are local and a lot of the boost that we got was from Milwaukee Film. We, got, we had a test screening through Milwaukee Film. That was really great to have. So, I mean, there are so many opportunities locally just in our own backyard to make a film and make a film of, you know, the size that we did. It was truly, really lucky. Is it a good fit? Robert? Yeah, yeah, exactly, uh, exactly what she said. Um, everyone is very supportive, uh, especially family members um, and people who have never been in film. They're so interested in the making of it because they, they don't know what it takes until they actually get on set. Mm. And then once they get on set, it's like, I didn't know that a 30 second commercial mm -hmm. took more than 30 seconds to make. <laughs> <laughs> so true, so true. You know? Talk about, um, you said, you know, people don't understand what the life of a filmmaker is. Give us an idea yeah. of Pull what you go curtain. on, what you deal with on a day to day to make what we're gonna see on the big screen happen. Well, one thing that's really become prevalent for me is that really the film that you see is about 10% of the experience of making the film. Yeah, how much did you have to, uh, as you say, kill the darlings? Uh, yeah, so <laughs> the editing process for this film was about a year. And, you know, your initial cut of a film is usually about three hours because you think about a script. It's pretty long. Mm -hmm. uh, the scenes take longer than you think that <laughs> to act out. So it's really about trimming it down to a watchable length especially if you love all the scenes. And Robert, imagine the situation for a lot of folks who are starting up is that, hey, I have a day job, and then I do <laughs> this, <laughs> right? At night. Yes, that, that is exactly how it goes. Um, the moment I leave work, I'm, 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 I've already been thinking about film while I'm at work. Mm -hmm. The moment I leave work, going, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> getting quiet. Um, but the moment I leave work, it's, it's right back to that job. It actually is not even a job, it's a passion. Yeah, it goes right, right back to that, you know, and and you don't go to sleep until, until you're tired at that moment of doing what you need to do that needs to get done. If you don't do it, it's, and who's gonna see it? Yeah. Carol, the one challenge you say, Milwaukee, we're, this is a great effort, but we need what? What could help the industry more? Uh, I think we've already started to solve the biggest issue funding. that I had was, well, funding, but also connections to the larger cities. Right. Because Milwaukee, kind of is a little 
uh, not self-centered, but we are very aware of ourselves, mm -hmm. and we're very proud of ourselves, which we should be, but mm -hmm. also just having those outside people come in and give us the step up that we need to become that larger city in the industry, I think will be really key. Speaking of competition, a little drama here. Your movie is Sunday night at... Yes, it is. <laughs> what time? 8.15. <laughs> Yours is at? Uh, 7.30 Sunday Okay. Night. So they'll have to go online yeah. to the website to see yeah. the trailers to decide what mood they're in, but yeah. both are good films. Thank you both for joining us Thank today. Thank you so much. Great job. Thank you. All right.